has spent context switching, which means that I do one thing and then all of a sudden I do something completely different. Today is a perfect example. As you can see, I'm all dressed up like with a suit and everything because I work a full-time job at a bank where I have to do this. And then in the second half of my day, I get to dress like a regular human and I get to go and play test Mass Effect Andromeda a full month and a half before it's actually released, followed by an interview with the producer of the game, followed by a dinner hosted by Electronic Arts where they invite all of these like YouTubers and people from the gaming industry and stuff, right? That's really my day. And if that day sounds absolutely ridiculous to you, you'd be totally right. It is ridiculous. So we are on the way now. Uh, we're heading out to a place called Waterloo in Sydney, which is like kind of on the city fringe. And uh, it's Electronic Arts' PR agency's office, I think, maybe, or it could just be some place they've set up for us. But uh, either way, we go hands on there. I know there's gonna be a whole bunch of other media and YouTubers there and all that sort of stuff. And I know we're gonna get about three hours hands on with a game, uh, which is pretty exciting. I gotta say that I've been um, quite skeptical of what I've seen of Mass Effect so far in the sense that like it's looked cool, the trailers have been nice, but we haven't seen a lot of gameplay. And that only recently changed when they released a combat trailer earlier in the week. And um, that looked amazing, like really kind of allayed all my fears. And I was thinking, all right, cool, this actually looks like a game that I'd want to play, which is very relieving. So uh, I'm going to find out how that actually translates now into actual play um, when I go hands on with it. Three hours, I think, is more than enough time to make up your mind about whether or not it plays well or not. <laughs> So I just finished the hands-on session with Andromeda. It was pretty awesome to be honest with you and I'm gonna like spend some time collecting my thoughts, but yes, it's good. That is the initial verdict, it's very good. Okay, so we just left the Mass Effect hands-on event. Uh, I'm going back to the office now and I'm gonna do a proper dump of thoughts because there's definitely a lot to say on the game having gone hands-on with it for like nearly three hours. It's my goddamn tripod at home. Very annoyingly, I left my tripod at home so now I have to kind of like set this up awkwardly with the little thing, I'm not gonna even describe it, it's too annoying. So, what did I think of Mass Effect Andromeda? So let's go through a few things, uh, top of the head sort of stuff. Basically, it's good. First of all, let, at a high level, let's just say that straight out of the gate, it's good and it's gonna satisfy Mass Effect fans. I know a lot of people have been very reluctant about this one, they've really been watching it closely, being like, how come EA hasn't said anything? What's the deal? Are they like scared of it? Are they kind of like setting expectations low? Is this just a cheap cash in? And they're just like pushing it out with no hype. No, it's a really good, really solid game that you're going to enjoy if you're a Mass Effect fan. So that's the very first thing that I will say. Secondly, let's talk visuals, right? So it looks good. Um, unfortunately, the PCs that I were playing on were really shitty and I could only kind of crank it to maybe like medium to high settings because I put it up to ultra and it just died. So long story short, um, it's going to look better than I saw it and it already looked good from what I could see, especially some of the really densely populated areas like that little town that you saw in that earlier gameplay 
gameplay trailer, um, some of the stuff on the other hub locations, which I won't spoil, they all looked beautiful. So it's very, um, it's still very Bioware, it's very blocky, like the animations are very much like, uh, uh, uh. but and the facial stuff, like the face animations are a bit weird as well. Like Sarah Ryder kind of has this weird like, expression the entire time. That hasn't changed, she still looks kind of goofy. And uh, Sam Ryder, the other one, he kind of looks a lot more normal. So just be ready for that transition. But to be honest with you, that doesn't matter. I think people who focus on that stuff when it comes to a Bioware game aren't really focusing on the right things. You have to expect some blocky animations. You have to expect less than perfect facial stuff because that's not really where they invest their time. They invest it in worlds and in stories and in gameplay. And in those regards, it's done super well. So don't get triggered by like any of the blockiness of the face. It doesn't matter, just focus on the fact that overall is a really good game. I can confirm that it is well written and well voice acted. It was really well rolled out in terms of the start and how it all got going. All of the performances from all the characters just felt really natural. None of it felt forced. I can guarantee you it's taken no steps back whatsoever when it comes to the quality of the delivery or the story. I think the biggest hurdle that Bioware sets for themselves when they try and go another Mass Effect story is to top the cast of characters that we saw from the first original trilogy. Now, I can't say whether or not these characters are like Never mind this. Better characters, but I can say that from what I saw, having spent, you know, two and a half, three hours with it, they felt really good. They felt very interesting. They felt likable. They didn't feel like you were just sort of devolving into weird, dumb cliches. Nothing was obvious. It was like finessed, it was nuanced. It was like cool and I kind of wanted to hang out with these people more. The stories that I was beginning to see as I was experiencing the game were stories I wanted to hear more about and the characters I really felt like, yeah, cool. I want to spend more time with this person. So obviously I can't say definitively whether they got the cast right, but I can say that it seems like they've got a significant part of it right. And I really feel like the characters are kind of half the battle when it comes to Mass Effect. So I think that they have ticked this box so far so good. So the big one, how does it actually play when you like running around shooting stuff. So again, this felt awesome. Now, in the opening presentation, the producer of the game was speaking to us and he was saying that the number one thing they wanted to do was pull the action from the multiplayer of Mass Effect 3 into the single player of Mass Effect 4, Andromeda, right? If you sort of think back to Mass Effect, you kind of imagine or remember that like the combat was generally pretty slow paced and it was kind of like one foot after the other, after the other, it was quite slow and methodical. And I think if you remember the multiplayer side of Mass Effect 3, it wasn't like that at all. It was this completely like crazy non-stop nuts experience. And I can tell you after playing it yeah, nearly two and a half, three hours, that like the combat in the game is almost relentless. Like when, as soon as you enter a combat environment, the speed of combat, the pace of it, the number of enemies that you're fighting, none of it feels like that kind of slow methodical combat from the original trilogy. It definitely feels like the multiplayer from Mass Effect 3. So they've definitely ramped it up quite a few notches and I think it feels good. And I would say especially things like the gunplay and the skills really stand out as being excellent. But they've done a really great job in making the guns feel fantastic. I love them. Um, I think the skills pe like handle beautifully. The way that I'm able to sort of like teleport to an enemy, pull them towards me, how, how reliant I am on melee abilities now and how satisfying that feels. The diversity in terms of enemies that I'm facing. Um, squad commands are still a little bit awkward but they were always like that so that's no big deal but overall like the whole package in terms of combat the minute you pick it up it feels good and I think and I think maybe some people won't like it in fact because some people will feel like it's just too much action and some people really want to go through Mass Effect just chilling and enjoying the story and just progressing through it and combat is kind of like something you get through to get back to the storyline but for those of you that are actually looking for like a proper combat action game like a proper action RPG then this is definitely a step up versus the original trilogy. Now, unfortunately on the multiplayer, they didn't, uh, we didn't get our hands on that. I was really hoping we would, but all they basically said was that Mass Effect 4 multiplayer is the same as Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. And like, I really quizzed the guy on it, but like he was really kind of very clear that it's the same experience. So just take what you've experienced at Mass Effect 3 and then imagine that with like more stuff in Mass Effect 4 in terms of like some new classes and some new abilities and whatever and jump packs and that's it, right? That's that's the experience. So don't expect anything revolutionary on, on that front. Expect it to be the same sort of thing that you experienced before. So how would I uh, summarize the experience that I had? I would say that it feels like Mass Effect and it sounds like a really dumb thing to say but that's honestly the best thing that I can say. It feels like the original Mass Effect trilogy. It feels familiar enough and close enough to that experience, but it doesn't just 
rests on its laurels, it looks at each of those systems and it improves upon it ever so slightly. In my view, a lot of people I'm sure are going to have different views, say for instance, about crafting or exploration or all this stuff, whatever. The point is that it takes those systems and it tries to do something innovative with them. They feel familiar and they feel good, but they also try and just like try something out of the box. They try something new. And for, in my view, it works. Like I really feel like all of the systems that I saw in play were all working properly. And I was like, cool, I'd like to play more of this. So, um, so overall, I would say this is, as I said, a good Mass Effect game. I think it's going to please fans. I think those who've never played a Mass Effect game before are also going to enjoy this because the story is just, it seems so far very, very divorced from the original trilogy story. You don't need to have that background. You can just jump straight in and it's very accessible as well. Like you don't need to spend heaps of time learning how to play it. You just jump in and start pulling the trigger, you know, it just works straight out of the box, so to speak. So those are my impressions. Uh, I really look forward to it. Uh, it's coming out on the 21st of March in the US and the 23rd of March in Australia. Um, super excited about it. Um, I love Mass Effect. Absolutely love it. I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of it on my channel as well. So keep an eye out for that. I'm currently doing a Let's Play for Mass Effect 1. So check that out as well. You can actually, I'll link, leave a link to that in the description below. Um, subscribe for more Mass Effect videos because I do plan on covering it. I do plan on having a good look at the multiplayer as well when details emerge for that and doing some coverage when the game goes live. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. I hope you appreciate it. If you did like the video, drop it a like and uh, I'll see you very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.